You's a vegan, but you go in him. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to Pretty Brown Vegan. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today's video, I'll be showing you guys three different ways to make vegan nacho cheese. I know that when you go vegan, sometimes letting go of that dairy is one of the hardest things to do. So here are three cheesy options to get you started. Let's go ahead and get into it. So the first option I will make using um, store-bought products, I'll be using a store-bought cheese that's already pre-made. In the rest of the options, you'll see how I turned some nuts and some veggies into cheese, but this one's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the rotel and the skillet there, and just go ahead and heat it up until it's bubbling and simmering, and then we're gonna add in some additional ingredients. Okay, so once that rotel is bubbling, go ahead and pour into your unsweetened coconut milk. I am using unsweetened coconut milk in a can. And we're gonna go ahead and combine that, keep stirring it occasionally until that starts bubbling as well. And the steam starts coming off of that milk. You'll see the steam start escaping here before we add in our cheese. All right, so once that's well heated and simmering, we're gonna go ahead and add in about a full pack, almost two cups of some vegan cheddar cheese. You can use whatever store-bought cheddar cheese you prefer. Um, in this particular video, I'm using a mixture of diet cheese and follow your heart cheese because that's what I had in the fridge. I do like to make this recipe using the diet shreds, but the follow your heart shreds are really good as well. And then Chow has some really nice shreds. There are a few different brands out there. So just, you know, test and try the ones that you uh, really enjoy and find your favorite. And then we're just gonna keep letting that simmer until all of the cheese shreds are melted and then we're gonna add in our seasoning. All right, so once that's looking really good and golden, we're gonna go ahead and add in our seasonings. You guys can go ahead and see which ones I add in here.
All right, once you've added in all of your seasonings, you just wanna go ahead and keep letting it simmer and bubble up until it thickens into your liking. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it in a serving dish. To serve this, I am gonna go ahead and top it with some fresh red pepper and some chopped jalapenos. And that's it guys for this one. It's super easy, super, super delicious as always. Also one of my top out of the three. So that's how we do that one. Let's go ahead and get into the cashew cheese option. So for this option, you will need some cashews that have been either soaked overnight or you can go ahead and boil them. Um, go ahead and bring them up to a boil and then let them soak for 30 minutes or so in that water after you turn the heat off and then they'll be ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and blend those up with some garlic and some coconut milk. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in some spices. Just go ahead and see all the spices that I like to add in here. Once you get all the spices in, then we'll be ready to blend. As you're blending, it might get a little bit difficult um, for the blender to kind of keep all the ingredients going. You might need to add in additional coconut milk here and there, which is completely fine. You can co continue to add in the coconut milk until you reach your desired consistency that you like for your nacho cheese. I like my cashew cheese a little bit on the thicker side. I just think it's so creamy and delicious. So you guys can see me go ahead and keep mixing that up until we get to that consistency I enjoy. And once we reach just about that consistency, I go ahead and add in some nutritional yeast, yeast flakes. Um, that just gives it more of a cheesy flavor. I love nutritional yeast. It's a great arsenal to have in your cabinet or in your fridge once you've opened it um, for you know any sort of a cheesier dish that you like to bring that flavor out in. And then for this cheese, you can go ahead and enjoy it raw. This is a completely raw, vegan-friendly recipe, or you can heat it back up over the stove before serving. I'm also garnishing this with some chopped jalapeno and crushed red pepper. And that's it for this option, guys. Super easy as well, and this is my second favorite option. So we're gonna go ahead and now get into the third option, which is actually made from roasted cauliflower. For this cauliflower option, I did roast half a head of cauliflower in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes or so. I didn't add any seasonings um, on it or any oils or anything. I just put it on a baking sheet and put it straight into the oven. 
And then once that's ready and you're ready to go with that, I just add it directly into the blender. I don't let it cool off because my um, Vitamix can handle high heat. Um, then you're gonna go ahead and add in garlic and some seasonings here, as well as your coconut milk, which is also that unsweetened coconut milk from the can. You guys can see the seasonings that I add in here and it's pretty straightforward like that cashew cream cheese. Um, you can just go ahead and blend it up and continue adding coconut milk as desired if needed to reach that desired consistency that you're going for. You'll also see later in the video that I add in additional turmeric as well. I just think it adds a little bit more of that goldeny um, to the you know visual so it gives it a little bit more of that cheesy look um, for this particular option here the cauliflower it does have a very strong cauliflower taste it's very pungent um, so if you're not in a cauliflower this option is not for you but if you enjoy it um, this option really enhances that cauliflower flavor and it just tastes so so good I really love cauliflower so that's a personal option now, because this does have such a pungent cauliflowery flavor, I don't really like to enjoy this raw. Again, that's a personal option. I'm just gonna be straightforward with you. It tastes exactly like cauliflower. So it's just a super healthy option that you do have. And I really enjoy the flavor of cauliflower, but I just wanna stress to you that it does taste exactly like a head of cauliflower, just in a cheesier option or cheesier alternative. So I like to have this hot. I don't like it cold. Um, I, I don't like, you know it kind of would be like a cold cauliflower soup that's not really my thing but if you're into the raw life go ahead and go for it but again as i stated that's personal preference These are all three delicious choices that you guys can choose from. I really hope you guys enjoy this content today. If you do, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks guys. But